Parker against Davis. Back to Parker. It's stolen by DeRozan. Inside to Jefferson. Trying to get open is Davis. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will return possession. Terrific awareness among this collection of centers and power forwards. The big men averaging the most assists per contest over the previous 10 games. Second is Jabari Parker. Well, it takes tremendous feel for the game to be able to make the passes these big guys are capable of making out of that low post area. Absolutely, Steve. I mean, these fellas play in the high traffic area on the court, so the passing lanes for them are a lot tighter than they are over the perimeter. Not nearly as much room. That was a nice finish to an excellent possession. Bucks trail by seven. Right side wall. On target from 13 feet. Wall's got 11. That mid-range jumper, just another one of his weapons. Chris Middleton's checked in for Hodges. Well, a chance to check out John Wall here. His last 10 games, he was seventh in scoring, seventh in steals. And there aren't too many guys more efficient offensively around the league. He's in the top 15 in field goal percentage. And you don't become a top 10 scorer, Steve, without a variety of offensive moves and a whole bunch of tricks in your bag. So he makes for wonderful highlights the way he can score. That drops. 13 points for DeMar DeRozan. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. There's a good screen. Down low. Jefferson is a nice deep. The Knicks leading by seven. Here is Lowry. Davis with a screen on Wall. Lowry dishes to DeRozan. They double him with Wall. Five on the clock. Here's Lowry. Trying to get open is Davis. No good off the front iron. Looked like an easy two points right there. You know he's kicking himself for that miss. And Middleton kicks to Wall. Off the pitch. Oh, get it! Oh, oh, oh. that's out now. Oh. You know, it's sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult while they're trailing. Yeah, but still, you know what? A magnificent move to the rim. Agreed. Guys, I, I, look, I don't know what the score is. That's the play we're all going to remember from this game. And it's a defensive three-second violation. The Knicks have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And the technical free throw missing that time. They'll retain possession here, however. And a new group in for the Knicks. Mark Gasol's checked in for Jefferson. Millsap comes in for Davis. Monroe's checked in for Morris. And it's Jenkins in for DeMar DeRozan. Now here is Lowry. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. We'll take a look at the Knicks. Things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And, of course, Milwaukee, six and a half games behind them. When I look at Milwaukee, you know, they've got to take a step back and just try to pinpoint where things went south for them this season. They're in a tough spot. But it's so hard to, to figure that out in the midst of the season, Clark. you got games coming night after night. Uh, there's just no time to, to figure it out. You just have to try to right the ship and get things moving. Some big points there. I mean, they got them on a nice play to get the ball right to the button. That's what they're looking for down the stretch. Clark, more of the same. Get it inside. So it's the Knicks now. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Outside Gasol. Here's the dish to Jenkins. Those have a screen on Nick. Jenkins, the best of him. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Passes it to Middleton. He feeds it to Nash. For the tie, Gasol with the block. 130 left in the third quarter. There's up the screen on Nash. Here's Hammond. Nice teamwork to set up the pit play and make the space for the Jays. 
solid screen right there that freed him up for the jump shot. Timeout called the bus. And during the timeout, both coaches getting a chance here to review the strategy at this point of the game along with the discussions. Also some rehydration going on with Gatorade. Everyone trying to bring their game here tonight. Yeah, that's why you see the trainers going around to every player, making sure they're hydrated, they're getting enough to drink during the game. So important to hydrate yourself and keep yourself strong and, and ready to play for these big minutes down the stretch. So it's the Knicks now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Gasol is screen on Nash. Gasol on the high post. Went down low that time, and he got the three second ball. Hodges checked in for Milwaukee. 40 seconds left to play in the third. Now here's Nash. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. That'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. And the Bucks making a change here. Parker's checked in. There's 31 seconds left in the third. Feeds to Perkins. Knocked loose. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Gasol is screen on Hodges. Right side, Millsap. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. And it's a seven-point New York lead. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that. Paxson, it's good from long range. Paxson's got his third basket of the night. right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Well, today it comes from one of the men in the middle. Kevin, let me tell you, anytime you get a big man who can pass like this, it really changes the way you can play offense, diversifies your offensive attack. Let me ask, who is the best passing big man you played with? Luke Longley. Oh, the Australian. Yes. Big redhead. Good passer down on the low block. The number one pick by the Minnesota Timberwolves. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. We've got Wall. Parker out there with Perkins. And there's Hodges. They set the pick. Here's Parker. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Parker's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Milwaukee. The Knicks with the lead. Outside DeRozan. a shot at the elbow and that's good for two. You shouldn't be afraid to take that shot more often. He's solid from there. Buck shooting with confidence 50% from the field so far. To Rosen again touches. He dishes it to Perkins. Shot clock at six. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Love the way he fought for that putback. You know, he's willing to put in a lot of hard work in this game. No doubt about that. Now Lowry. Right side Lowry. He kicks to Jefferson. Back to Lowry. Outside the Rosen. And the Bucks making a change here. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Outside Lowry. Lock at six. Here's Davis. And the Knicks good for two. This has really become an intense ball game ever since halftime. Boy, the effort from both teams here, Steve, is terrific. The pass to Hodges. His first shot coming late. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his third rebound tonight. Lowry against Hodges. Lowry dishes to Jefferson. Back 
to Lowry. Pass to Davis. Right side, Davis. That's good. Davis has got four points in the quarter. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. To the left wing. And Hodges kicks to Wall. Well, how about John Wall in this one? He's got 13 points, and he hasn't forgotten to get his teammates involved either. Sean, no, that's important part. I mean, he's conscious of the fact that moving the ball around gets the defense uh, to move. It forces them to work, and it creates a better offensive flow for his own team. The Knicks leading by five. And here's Lowry. Jefferson setting the pick for Lowry. Pass to Morris. Back to Lowry. Lots of room. Rebound by Parker. I'll tell you what, the mid-range shot is not the easiest one to make. But when you've got daylight like he had there, I mean, those are shots you want to make. This is it to Hodges. So the whistle blows on the shot for two free throws for the contact right there. The offense is getting right to the rim. At least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layup. Earn it from the line. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. Outside DeRozan. Davis with a screen on Hodges. Shot from the wing. And he nails that one right through the net. 17 points for DeMar DeRozan. That shot was made possible by the work of Anthony Davis. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach from Milwaukee was getting across in their huddle. He told his guys, listen, we've got to make the most of every opportunity right now. We can win this game, but it's all about making every single possession count. Guys, we'll see if they can come back. Four on the shot clock. That's a shot at the elbow. Misses off the right eye. The Knicks leading by five. Outside Lowry. Morris passes to Davis. Nice hit with the layup off the mark. The Bucs have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Lowry against Wall. Hooked away. And Jefferson sends it back. They recover it. Lowry with the ball. Davis setting the pick for DeRozan. That savvy little up good deal. Here in the deal. DeRozan's got 10 points here in the second half. Timeout call for Bucks. They're losing by seven. 122 left here in the fourth quarter. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. It's stolen by Morris. Here's Lowry. On the wing to Rosen. Outside Lowry. Davis setting the pick for Lowry. Six to shoot. Shoots from the elbow. And he sinks that one in the back of the room on the way in. And now a nine point New York lead. All against Lowry. From outside the arc. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Now here's DeRozan. Davis dishes to Lowry. Outside DeRozan. Pull from the top of the key. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. They didn't take their time wrapping this game up. They pretty much did it in a hurry. Yeah, they had a nice spurt to polish this one off. And Wall. Here we go now. And he gets it to go. And that kind of power move has become a trademark for him. Nine seconds left to play here in the fourth. That's right, Lowry. The fadeaway. Good. Got to feel pretty good about this win tonight, guys. 